it's it's burning me. Uh, <laughs> there's ashes everywhere. Uh, hang on a second. I gotta go put this out. That's hang on. Hey, we're gonna try something really fun today. Uh, it has to do with smoke, and you know where there's smoke, there's always fire. So we'll probably have a little fun with that too. Oh, hands on deck! <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Last year. Now, typically, we think of smoke as something that goes up. It always goes up, right? Whether it be a candle or the smoke from a burning cigarette or even just a piece of paper that's burning, we always see that smoke traveling upwards, right? But if we were to give that smoke a different pathway to take, for instance, if we allow it to follow a tube and come out the bottom, if it will be still enough, here we go. See that? Smoke falls. Why does smoke fall? I thought it was supposed to go up. Ow, it's, it's, it's burning me. Uh, <laughs> there's ashes everywhere. Uh, yeah, that's still on fire. Uh, I gotta hang on a second. I gotta go put this at. That's hang on. Okay. Anyway, if we give smoke a different pathway to follow, it we find it actually doesn't necessarily always go up. So we're gonna try a really cool experiment and see if we can make a smoke waterfall. The reason why this is a little bit contrary to what we are typically used to I mean we're so used to smoke going up and now we're seeing smoke falling so why is it doing that what is the reason well honestly smoke is actually heavier than air it weighs more uh, than the air does so anything that weighs more than the air will actually fall down not go up so why does smoke normally go up, maybe, is the real question. Smoke normally travels in the upward direction because it's coming from something that's very hot, and that heat generates a convection current. Heat rises, and as that heat rises, it pushes the smoke up with it. So if we're able to get the smoke away from the heat, it will actually fall because it's more dense than the air. It's heavier than the air. So the idea here is that if we take a little piece of paper, now these are sticky notes, so it actually works really well because they'll kind of stick closed. They're not the best sticky notes in the world, but they do stick closed somewhat. Um, and if we light one end of that, We're actually creating the combustion here. I'm, I'm trying to be careful where I, I talk because I don't want to mess up the airflow down on this end. We're cre creating the combustion on the top side and allowing that smoke to travel through the tube and come out the bottom where you can see it's trying to fall, but air currents are kind of messing with it here a little bit. I'll be quiet for a second and see if we can get it to, to look good.
say I did know that smoke was flammable, but I had never expected to see that. That is super impressive. We've got to watch that again in super slow motion. Pretty cool, I didn't expect to see that happen and uh, super impressed, I think that's really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a pretty simple uh, little experiment, but very fun. And uh, I think we got some really cool footage out of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video. Leave me your comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.